Yes. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Vlogmas week one. We just woke up, it's eight o'clock. I look atrocious. Also, I bought an ice roller to try to help with my puffiness in the morning. <laughs> we are in Christmassy attire. I've had this sweater for three billion years. And Meg got a cute sweater, which I'm jealous of. Show it to them. The, the, the. the Grinch. <laughs> Yeah, um, I wanted that one as well, but she said they didn't have my size, so on them. We have matching black Santa socks <laughs> because we're having a cozy, relaxed day um, today. And then also, look at the best thing that Meg got me. The best advent calendar around. It has 15 days of socks. I'm obsessed with fuzzy socks. And it's Harry Potter. I'm obsessed with Harry Potter too, so I'm excited. Um, are you gonna? Oh, don't you open no, I'm it? I'm not gonna. I'm not. But this is how you do it. How you do it so that there's only one at a time? Or no, no, no. Cut this. Just cut oh. this, and then you can open. I was wondering how you could get it. Okay, get the scissors so that we can slice it. Okay. Also, these are our snacks for today. Um, we have dark chocolate and peppermint pretzel crisp so instead of just like the regular chocolate covered pretzels these are those thin ones uh we love those thin ones and then we're gonna make some um french onion dip and then i also got max some flowers yesterday and they're like christmas themed these like fuzzy ones are really cute i don't know what those are um but anyway surgery continues over here how's it going I just was trying to not aggressively rip into it like you don't like. Thank you. I appreciate that. Ta -da. Ta -da. Okay, so here's the pack. We accidentally hit, forgot to hit record. So <laughs> now we're going to look at it. These are the cute cards that come with it. And Hagrid's adorable. And we've already popped this, so I've seen them. But <laughs> <laughs> it's very cute. Look at it. Y'all, what is it, Harry? Harry Potter, TM. I'm excited. I love it. Socks for all. Came to this delicious bagel shop for breakfast bagels. <laughs> I got an onion bagel with uh, cream cheese. Oh, that one just fell apart. Mm. Two cream cheese, American cheese, egg, hash brown. Hash brown. Looks delish. We are coming to this little place. That has tree rental, not tree rentals. <laughs> Trees you can buy. What's the name of it? Grannies. Grannies. It's called Grannies. And we're hoping that it's as cute as can be. So far, the, the tent looks perfect because it's been raining. It's raining. And it looks like it has like covered the trees, which is great. So they won't be all wet. Oh, look at this door-to-door -door surface. This is exciting. I think I have bagel in my teeth. I didn't measure, so that's great. So oh, we were supposed to measure the, you know, <laughs> it's whatever. We're winging it. We're winging it. It'll be fine. Hey, how are you? Okay. Look at the little bitty ones. <laughs> These are perfect, like apartment-sized trees. I love them. Oh my God, cute, cute. This is all the selection. Oh my God, so adorable. I am obsessed with this. I love these. It's just so pricey, $52. But look at how pretty these are. These would have looked so good outside of the front door. Ugh. But also I can't bring myself to spending $100 for pots that are just gonna sit out there all season. So, burning the chainsaw. Okay, we're gonna come over here and look at the wreaths. We had success. We found a tree. We got a short fatty. Yeah, we found a short fatty since about- Since to measure. Yeah, since we forgot to measure. I think like six feet? I think it's six feet. Online, she's six foot. <laughs> <laughs> Online? In person, she like five five. <laughs> we are now just putzing around Target. I came to the book section to see what they have, and also 
I found a nice jumpsuit. Let me see it. I found a nice jumpsuit. No, let me show them. And I thought it was super cute. And Don't I was like, I have to to show them the shirt. Don't pull it all the way out. And this is it. Hold it up for me. Oh, sure. It says, I don't know if you guys can see it. It says, slow down and enjoy in like embroidery, which was super cute. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get this. I love this. I show it to Meg. What does Meg do? I don't want to do. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> because she must match at all times. <laughs> the urge to merge is real, guys. <laughs> anyway, we are in the book section. Oh, book recommendation, guys. This book is so, so good. If you're a reader and you like reading, highly recommend. I gave it five stars, which means a lot. So it's a very good and everybody else seems to be reading it too. So we're in the book section, just putzing around. Also, everyone's obsessed with this series, but I've never read it. Look at the size of that thing. It's me <laughs> so strong and mighty. <laughs> Wait, let me move out the way so you can come in. <laughs> She's going in. She's going in. You gotta help, guys. I'm coming. Good morning. It is a few days later and we're up early. We're trying to make that a habit. I have bought myself this face roller, ice roller, um, to try to help with the puffiness in the morning. And today we are going to decorate the tree we're going to decorate the house watch the movies christmas movies in the background just kind of have a nice cozy day uh we're gonna make some breakfast so i'm excited um i'm very tired i'm a little blue so um i am vlogging to make myself feel better and also to be present and be in the moment so anyway you guys are gonna see this live me trying to I just rolled my face. Everyone says the first like roll is really, really cold. Oh no, it's not that. Oh, it was after I pushed it down. Oh my God, that is so cold. Oh, it also feels very good. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I don't know if I'm supposed to go a certain direction. Oh, all I know is that this is like really waking me up. Also, I apologize for the last video. My phone camera settings were like way off. Um, so I dug up my old vlogging camera to see if the quality will just be better. It's got a wider angle. Um, and I'll be able to use this for like at home type of vlogs and stuff. Not so much for at work. For at work, I won't be able to. I'll just have to use my phone and try to get it to give us some good settings. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna do this and we're gonna start making some breakfast this morning. update here we have oh there it focused we have pulled down all the tubs that we have we went through some that were upstairs and kind of weeded it weeded it down to like two no three we have three. Oh my god aren't these towels the cutest these are little hand towels that we forgot we even had up there that meg bought last year so we're gonna put those somewhere and then we pulled down our light box that I really made a light box last year because there's just like no great way to organize these. And then our ornament box. And then, did you bring down the, um? oh, she did bring it down. This little thing too. So, <laughs> it keeps doing that. We don't really know why. But then if it's really bright, it doesn't at all. I don't understand. Um, anyway, we have these little like skating rink, 
skating pond village things that are from Meg's grandma. And I'm excited because we finally get to put them up. We had them last year, but we didn't put them anywhere because, when did we get them, at the end of the season or? I think in like the summer. Yeah, it might've been a different point. I'm thinking we may put them over here on the, um, what is this called? Good God, on this buffet because we don't really have a mantle yet, even though that's in the works. There's a plug back here. There might be one behind here as well. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's just, it's the perfect spot for it because we don't really have like any other like ledges around that we could put it on. Um, hopefully next year, hello. Whoa. <laughs> Hopefully next year we will have a mantle up on this little fireplace out here. I don't know why it keeps unfocusing. There we go. Hopefully we'll have a mantle up here next Christmas and then we'll be able to like fully decorate that. So that'll be good. All right, the update is we have a lot of shit and Meg is bouncing as Santa. <laughs> We've turned on the Santa Claus. And Willow's not happy. No, is not happy. I'm carrying around a spoon holder. I forgot how funny this movie is. He said the rain the reindeer probably have key lime disease. <laughs> and then he could then the one farted and he said, Oh, Rudolph. He said, I'm sorry, comment. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. What's happening here? <laughs> You've said no to blow ups for like ever. Yes, so I yes, just, I have. I started small. <laughs> we have this monkey Santa, which still makes no sense at all. Why is it a monkey? I don't know. We don't know why this is a monkey, but we have it. So I hate blow ups. I've told y'all before I hate blow ups, but this is a small one. So where do you want to put this? I think it's like, I don't know how to say it nicely. I think it's a, I'm just not gonna say it. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. I tell me. I white person thing. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but some of them are pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's this one. Monk is cute. Monk. Well, where are you gonna put him? I don't know. That's why I wanted to see his potential and then. I mean, he is short. He's kind of cute. He's only about... I just don't like that it looks like a cemetery when they're not inflated. He's only about... <laughs> <laughs> he's only about, like, boob level on me, so... He's four, he's four feet. sure if the time lapse cut off or not but these are our adorable Christmas sheets that we put on the bed we couldn't quite figure out how we wanted to like arrange up here so it, we just like stopped like 17 times and ended up taking off like three of the pillows and then another set of pillows but I am in love with them it's like different scenes but like kind of muted in the colors. So super cute. I'm pretty sure Meg got them from Pottery Barn, but obsessed, love them. They're so festive. Hello, good morning, it's bright. We are at Costco and Meg's inner adult is very happy. Um, this is actually uh, two days later from the last time I vlogged for our Christmas decorating, so We'll consider this a little pause. Let's see what we find in Costco and then maybe we'll do like a little haul at the end of all this. Honestly, this place opened literally 20 minutes ago. It is so busy. Why are there so many people here? Why? We are slowly racking up, guys. We got some bath tissue. You need any? Need some, t some uh, paper towels? 
because there's a shit ton here. I can never run out of anything here. Boy, did we spend a lot at Costco. Oh my God. Let's do a little haul. All right, so these are a few of the things that we bought. We found this really gorgeous looking chocolate set. Um, I think we're actually gonna include this for my mom's Christmas present. So I know she won't watch this, huh? Hopefully she's not watching. She's not watching, I know she's not watching. Um, okay, which is kind of bad. Shouldn't she be watching the channel? <laughs> Um, we got, well, Meg got some Jimmy Dean delights, um, the healthier ones, the English muffin ones. I told her we could make these from scratch and probably save ourselves on the preservatives, but she was like, nah, this is easier. So we got some of that, some true granola bars, another set of granola bars, the kind ones. Um, we got, well, I got spinacopita. I love spinacopita. I feel like you can only get it really at like Greek festivals and we only have one once a year. So 48 pieces, that should last me a month. <laughs> a month, no. Uh, we got some Honeycrisp apples because they're delicious. They're good, but they're not like my favorite apple in the world. My favorite apple is actually Pink Ladies, but got that one. The pretzel, pretzel crisp. Um, I think earlier in this vlog, I showed you guys the dark chocolate ones, but we found the white chocolate ones. So we're gonna try these ones, white chocolate and peppermint. Black pepper because it's $5 at a regular grocery store and $7 for this big ass one. Um, Meg's making fun of me during my haul. I don't know why. <laughs> um, Pirate's booty in the largest bag you've ever seen because that's what Costco has. Also, the largest Caesar salad you've ever seen was $10. We could split this for probably three days. So we got some food things as well. Probably gonna have this with for dinner with um, <laughs> a shepherd's pie that feeds an army. <laughs> but we're thinking if we make it, then we can have leftovers for some days. We've gotten the chicken pot pie before and it was delicious. So now we're doing the um, shepherd's pie. And Meg's crawling on the floor to get to the other side. Um, we gotta get this. Oh, these. These spinach and cheese raviolis are really, really good. We've had these before. Just nice to have stuff in the freezer that you can just like pop in or whatever. Um, which is fine. And then Meg also got some stuffed peppers. I love that they have stuff that's like fresh made. So she basically can bake this entire thing and she has like lunches for a few days because one pepper is like really filling and healthy and delicious. And oh, and then I got some Fairlife protein shakes. I love these, they're delicious. Can't find them anywhere else, I don't know why. But we got a huge pack of them. They have 30 grams of protein, which if I'm in a rush for the mornings will be great to be able to take these, so. Um, I think that that's it. This concludes our Costco haul. Okay, I forgot to show you guys the best thing that we found. Look at this beautiful real wreath. We had a different one on here. I think I showed it, I'm not sure. But we were at Costco and they have all these real wreaths. It smells incredible. It has little berries on it and it has some pine cones, some real pine cones and we saw one of these at the tree place, but it was like 50 something dollars. This was $20. It's large. It's beautiful. I am in love with it. We also put up our little jingle jangle wreath holder. Obsessed. So if you guys have a Costco near you, there's tubs and tubs of them and it's a great deal. So favorite purchase so far today. We're gonna start working on Tanya Tinsel. <laughs> She's our tree. She's been naked and bare boned for a while. So first thing, excuse me, ma'am. First thing we're trying to figure out is what color? what color lights do we wanna put on the tree? And I started pulling out some lights and the amount that we have is way more than I remember. So we usually do white and I think we're gonna try to switch it up maybe and do a different color, so. 
just white ones we have these little bitties which are adorable and i think we're going to do these as a base and then put another set over if we did go with white so we have these ones then we have nubby nipple bulbs <laughs> then we have regular bulbs and then another set of white bulbs i think we have a lot and then we could do either this red or green like up here here and feed it through and then we can plug it in there i think that would be cool I don't know. I feel like there's so much going on on that stand already. And then this one too. So how many sets have you already plugged in? Five. Five. And then there's this one too. I don't know if these are all the same color or not. So it looks like you have three sets of red, a set of green, and a, two sets of multicolored. Yes. All right, ladies and gents. This is the color we ended up going with. There's a little bit of a hole here, but I think if we twist this a little bit, will help. There was a little bit of a fiasco and we originally had the little twinkly white lights and then red up here all the way down to the bottom, but then the whole middle section, we thought we checked the lights, we didn't check the lights and thus it looked really weird. So we had to take those down. Then we tried green in the middle. So it was green and down to like here and then red. And that just looked like we just couldn't commit. So we took it out. <laughs> then I had a little bit of a fit. And then <laughs> we went with the colored lights mixed with the twinkly white lights. And I don't know if it's really like conveying on camera. I don't know. But um, it looks good. What are your thoughts? We did it. We did it. That's it. No more. No more. Do you want to tell everybody bye? Thanks for watching. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week. Uh, thank you. Bye. <laughs> See you guys on the next one.